That's enough about that. What's the time here? Oh, 12 minutes! Sorry, I said it was going to be a short one, didn't I? Okay, well, I'll, I'll try and speed this up now. God, I waffle on, don't I? I'm used to making short videos. Okay, last laser disc here. Escape from New York. There you are. And it's, yes, it's another 80s movie. Uh, starring the man Kurt Russell. Now, I absolutely love Kurt Russell. I think he's this... Yeah, he's that stuff. I think he's I think he's cool. Um, I love his films. Everything from like, uh, what's he done? Big Trouble in Little China. Um, I love that. Um, Tango Cash. I love that too. I need to find that on Laserdisc. Um, I don't think I've got it. I don't think I have got it. No. But I like that film. Overboard. I like. I like Kurt Russell. I think he's cool. And it was nice to see him in um, Quentin Tarantino's um, uh, Death Proof. Uh, that wasn't the best film in the world. The ending was a bit pants. But it was good to see him in it. It's good to sort of have him back. Um, but anyway, Escape from New York. Uh, wicked film. Um, there was Escape from LA, like I'm sure some people know this. Um, was that good? Um, the sequel? Mm, yeah, it was alright. <laughs> it was alright. I can't say it was... Like, I can't really bang on about how bad these films are, you know. Like I say, if I don't like it, I just go, eh, it was alright. It's okay. I'm not that good. But, Escape from New York, I enjoyed. It's a real dark movie. I don't know if everybody, anybody's seen it. It's a John Carpenter film. Um, I know him, Kurt Russell and John did a lot of films together. And a lot of them were, were good. The Thing, brilliant film. And of course, Big Trouble in Little China. Um, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm not very good at showing films. Maybe vinyl's more my thing because I feel like I need to talk a bit more about the films for those who haven't seen it before, and I don't do that because you know, fear of making a long video. I'm now at almost fifteen minutes, so I gotta I gotta hurry up. You know, I don't like doing long videos in fear that I'm, you know, helping people fall asleep, making people fall asleep. But Escape from New York is a great film really dark and gritty and I enjoyed it so that's why I got it okay well, let's let's hurry up because I need to crack on into introducing my uh, 45 collection which I've just started uh, just got me a little crate there for more my oh bloody hell oh sorry my, my language um, <laughs> I, I, I'm just gonna get them out I just started getting them. I was sort of, when I started collecting vinyl again at the start of last year, I was just like, I'm just going to get albums, just going to get 12 inch. And then it started being, I'm just going to get um, 12 inch singles eventually. I haven't got any yet. No, I do. I do. I think I do. Um, yes. But anyway, anyway, I was going to get 45s uh, eventually, I think. I mean, you can't resist them, can you? They're dinky, they're cute. Anyway. <laughs> Let's start talking about them, James. Okay. Let's start. Okay. These are a couple I picked up over the course of a couple of days. And um, I've got one here to show you. It's a single um, The Killers, Human. Yeah, you have that. Um, I like the song. I like the band as well. I haven't got any of their albums actually on vinyl. I was going to pick up one of theirs, uh, Sam's Town. On vinyl, but um, it's a picture disc, you know. I'm not, I haven't worked my way up to picture discs yet, you know. And um, I'm a little bit iffy with them. I'll, you know, if an album's cool, I'll get it. But right now, I'm putting them off. I'll work my way up to them next too. But the Killers, um, Human, it's a great song. Off a great album. So we got that. And I'll just show these next two uh, together. Actually, these next two forty fives, because when I went out and got all this vinyl I'm going to show you in an, in another video. Um, uh, the uh, guy behind the counter in the store get, threw in these two vinyls here. And I don't know if anybody's heard of them. Uh, I believe they're female artists. Um, so give me a shout out in the comments below um, if you recognise any of them. Because these were freebies and, you know, I'm not to knock free vinyl. I'll take it, you know. But um, I didn't know who they were, what the songs were, and so let me know. I'm just going to show you the first one here out of the two. Um, Sharon Van Etten. 
serpents. Do you know who this is? I've no idea. Um, yep, that's her. And Lana Del Rey. Mm, I can't help the glare on that. That you can just about see. I don't know who these people are at all. You know, I totally forgot that the guy dropped in free vinyl. I, I remember him saying now uh, that he uh, he was going to drop in a couple of gifts in there. Um, but oh, I'm going to be I'm going to have to be really blunt, people. It's crap, both of them. You know, I'm all for giving a chance, but and I'm sorry if you're a fan. If I'm showing these and you're a fan of them, then I'm well sorry, but. I understand why I gave them to me free. The pants on a stick, waved in the air. No, didn't rate it at all. Sorry, Mr. Record Store Man. I think twice when I buy something from you, mate. Bloody hell. Sorry. <laughs> Doing my best not to cuss and what have you. Um, anyway, let's crack on. And uh, the next two, I'll show, I'll show these two together as well. Whitney Houston, 45s. Rest in peace. Um, I've got here, uh, Greatest Love of All. Right there. And I want to dance with somebody which is a favourite with me. Because, I, you know, if you know me well, you might hear me sing this in the shower. Don't catch me singing this in the shower. <laughs> So I'm revealing it all to you today. Um, yeah, I got Whitney because, well, I've got two of her albums um, on vinyl. But I got these because they're on the display. You know, obviously she's just recently passed away. Um, I'm not going to bang on about how I'm a big fan of hers. I mean, I, to be honest, I wasn't really. I appreciate her for who she was and what she did for music, especially popular music. Um, oh, crumbs, I'm dropping stuff now. Um, and she was an icon, a real big icon and all that. Um, but I'm not going to be one of these people that, you know, acts like I was a big fan when someone passes away. I don't understand that. You know, I have respect for the dead and all that. I won't say a bad thing. But, yeah, when that happened to her, you know, a lot of people, I feel, came out of the woodwork and they sort of changed. And it was like, but you didn't like her a week ago. I know you like her because she's died. What's that about? But anyway, I'm not going to get into all that. Uh, I got those two singles there. Because I thought, well, why not, eh? I don't have any 45s of Whitney Houston and of much else. So I jumped on that. And yeah, it is sad, actually. Because I honestly felt like with all that business with her husband and... The, you know, all that other stuff that was going on that wasn't really putting her in a good light, that she might make a comeback, and why not? Perhaps school some of, some other of these young lasses out there how it's done, because I feel since Whitney Houston, there's been a lot of imitators, really. A lot of wannabes, and, you know, I think she was, honestly, one of the uh, last of the um the real deals, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's, it's very sad in that respect, but also, outside of music and outside of, um, you know, who she was in that area, it's a loss, isn't it? You lose a person there, and that's what it's about, you know, it's a sadness there. You know, it's not just we lost a great singer, which we did, but it's a person gone, isn't it? So, yeah. Okay, getting back to the 45s. Oh, sorry. I totally lied to you guys. I said there was two that that guy dropped dropped in my bag in the record store that he gave me for free. But it was actually free. And um, I totally, because I was listening to these last night, I totally forgot to check this out. So that's why I remember two in my head to show. But I uh, just found the third one here. And this is by Gorge or Goat. I can't read the handwriting there. I don't know if you can see it. There. Gooch, I can't pronounce it. I don't know if it says on the back here. Oh, goat, 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 ye, goat, ye, G O T Y E. Uh, I'm gonna have to give this a listen because I don't know. I'm a bit sort of hesitant about it because the other two the guy gave me was you know like I say rubbish. But um, yeah, I forgot about that one. Show it there again. Almost done, people. Almost done. And the last one, 
I've got two copies here, is uh, of uh, Foxy Shazam. I don't know if anybody's heard this band. Uh, I went to see them uh, just before I went to see uh, Mr. Brandon, Mr. Hall of Fame. And I picked him up, um, one of these 45s, and I gave it to him as a gift. Um, it was actually only 300 copies there. So it was a limited edition. I've never owned anything that is 300 copies. Um, it's the single of the song from their recent album, which is The Church of Rock and Roll. Um, and the single is called I Like It. And there's a B-side of I'll Be Home Soon, Mother Earth, which isn't on the album. Um, I absolutely love this band. I've only heard them recently, um, like in the past few months. And they're absolutely fantastic. They remind me of Queen a lot. And when I went to see them um, in St. Louis, um, I mean, I haven't seen Queen live. I've seen a lot of footage. And the guy, Eric, the front man, he reminds me so much of Freddie Mercury. Now, not just with the sort of vocal style, but the way he moves on stage. I have never seen a fella bend back and flip the mic and, you know, and, like give it all that sort of rock and roll pizzazz. He really put on the show, this man. And... You know, that, that kind of reminded me of Freddie Mercury a little bit. And I'm a big fan of Queen. And I don't think anyone can get to that level that they were at. And, yeah, I'm not saying Foxy Shazam is at that level. But they could be. You know, why not? We need another band. We need another band like Queen, I feel, to be around and out there. And Foxy Shazam, I think, in my opinion, you know, I could be wrong. And you can, you know, you can give me some for it. But. I think this is the closest we're going to get to that sort of band. So, yeah. Foxy Shazam, check them out. I think they're brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Great show. And I don't know what it is with this man and cigarettes. He asked for cigarettes from the crowd. Uh, everyone threw like, a whole bunch at him with packs as well and lighters. He picked up like five in his mouth and he started, four or five, and he started smoking them. And then the nutter, right? Once they were done, he just put them in his mouth and he ate the cigarettes he ate the cigarettes I've never seen anybody do that at all so I don't know if that's a cool thing not really but it was insane and it was a good show but yeah I picked this up limited to only 300 copies nice find Gave it to Brandon he said he said he, he dug it like I said to him if he didn't like it then you know he could keep it for the um the collection side of things you know it's all good. Foxy Shazam. Brilliant band. Check them out. So, yeah, that's it for me. Oh my gosh, 25 minutes. I have been babbling on. I'm going to wrap this up right now. This is almost half an hour video, and I believe the longest video I've ever made, and hopefully I ever will make. So sorry. I know people don't like this. This this length stuff, I'm pretty sure. And I'm not one for talking a lot, and I'm talking a lot today. Um, okay, I'm going to stop it. So... There you go, laser discs, and my first batch of 45s there. And again, thank you to Brandon, my boy, sweetheart, lovely fellow, really good chap. Um, hope to see you soon. And to everybody else, thanks for watching. So sorry, it's been long. So sorry. I'll get off now, and I'll get round to making another video. I don't know if I can do that today. Um, if I do, then way. But if not, then you'll have to wait. I'm sure you will because this video has been long enough. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Okay, people, you take care of yourselves, and I will speak to you very soon. Thanks for watching. If you stuck with me this long, take care. All right, and cheers. Bye bye.